Hello and welcome to how to know the difference between actor position and object position. In Material Graph, you have access to these two position nodes and they may feel like they're the same. They're both returning world space coordinates of the actor that this thing is applied to. However, with one slight difference. So, for example, if I put in the actor position here and we just mask off this component mask to just use the height, because that's an easy one to check. And I'm going to divide that by a thousand. And we then kind of clamp that between zero and one. Plug that now into my alpha of my lerp between my yellow and blue. The actor position here is going to easily determine what color it should want to be. So if let me have a look at that in game and show you that in action. So here is my cube here. And as I go down, oh, move it down, sorry. It changes color to red and go up, it goes to blue. Now, the differences between these at, and the object position is notice how both of these cubes are changing color at the same time. Okay, even though one is higher than the other. And that is because we're using actor position. So it's returning just the actor's position, this root here. Object position relies on the individual components. So let me just swap that out for object position instead. And now you'll see one block is actually darker than the other. And I'll make this more apparent if I choose one of the blocks here and move it around separately. You can see how it uses the two differently. And this is based upon the object's position. Okay. So as I move it up and down, you'll notice that the components change color independent from each other. So that's the difference between each of those. But as you can see, we are affecting the whole block. So it's not like the world position. We're not changing individual pixels here. We're changing the whole block that this thing belongs to. Okay, it's changing per component. So let's talk more about relative spacing then. So if I was to go into my actor position and object position and take one away from the other. So I'm going to take my object position here and subtract away from the actor position. And we're going to absolute this value. So it doesn't matter if it's negative, it will just make it positive regardless. We're then going to put that into my mask here and leave it as that. So what we're going to see here is our values are going to change based upon how close they are to the actor's root. So no matter where I put it, as you can see, if I move it up and down, it's going to stay the same color. But what's going to be different is if I grab individual components, such as this cube here, move it closer and further to get different values. Right. I've realized we're only doing the height, aren't we? So we go up like that. And if I pick on this other cube here and bring this down, you can see this one changing into more blue. So these values are going to change based upon how far away they are individually from this actor root. But keep in mind, it's changing the whole component, not individual pixels like world position does. This is changing the whole object. And that is the difference between an object position and actor position. If you like this, watching this how-to and you want to see more how-tos and other videos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.